it is that time of year again. AP, time to take the test. Really quickly, want to go over a few things here and help you review. On this episode, it includes the difference between organic and inorganic compounds, the difference between monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides sugars, what is an enzyme, the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and how to read the pH number scale. Here we go. So what is the difference between an organic and an inorganic compound? An organic compound is a compound that contains carbon and usually hydrogen. So examples of this include carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, all of the things that living things that we are made up of. Inorganic compounds are ones that for the most part do not contain carbon and a lot of times hydrogen. So in this case, there are exceptions to this. There are things like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, which are inorganic compounds and contain carbon. But for the most part, those other rules fall true. Hopefully you knew that. Next question, what is the difference between monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides? Now you probably know mono means one, di means two, poly means many. So these are sugars, and the monosaccharides are the simplest sugars that there are. An example of this is glucose. It's a five carbon sugar, extremely easily broken down. A disaccharide is a sugar that has two monosaccharides that are attached together. These are a little bit more complex sugars, but really not overly complex. They include things like lactose, which is in dairy products, and sucrose, which is our table sugar. Polysaccharides are carbohydrates that contain three or more monosaccharides together. These are more complex carbohydrates. So these are the things like starch, and they include things like cellulose and other things that are put together and are much more complex. Who's got next? Enzyme. What is an enzyme? Enzyme is a protein that acts as a catalyst. It speeds up an, a reaction. So uh, it really it depends. Uh, there are a lot of conditions that affect enzymes such as the temperature, the pH, etc, etc. But enzymes are typically proteins that will speed up a chemical reaction. Oh, what's the difference between a prokaryote and a eukaryote? Well, mainly, a prokaryote are the simplest cells there are on the planet. They have no membrane-bound organelles. They have no nucleus. The prime example of a prokaryotic cell is bacteria. The eukaryotes are the cells that we think of that make up all other living things, such as us, human beings. They have membrane-bound membrane organelles. Uh, and they have a nucleus which contains their genetic information. So the eukaryotes are much more complex. I like to think of this, you know we have uh, eukaryotic cells, so if you think of it, what kind of cell do you have? Eukaryotic, you got it. Easy stuff. Last but not least, how do you read the pH scale? You probably already know this, but the pH scale is a scale from 0 to 14, um, and the further you go down on the scale, the lower the numbers, the more acidic something is, and the higher you go on the scale, the more basic it is. So the scale will run all the way from, you know, if you got down into the one range, you are getting into a very, very, very strong acid, something like hydrochloric acid. And if you go to 14, you are getting as strongly basic as can be. Seven is absolutely right in the middle, and that would be pure distilled beautiful pure water would be a seven that is neutral it's not acidic or basic there you go you use that information to get about three four five more extra questions correct on your ap final exam you take home the prize booyah what's up and quite finally i want to leave you with a little song and that hopefully you will think is really stupid and then it'll help you get one point so here it goes you have eukaryotic cells, and disaccharides have two monosaccharides, black sucrose and lactose. Hope you're not lactose intolerant, but even if you are, you're still probably going to dominate this testing stuff.